Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm just making a quick video of some of the things I had to search for and learn about the game because it doesn't really do a good job of telling you how to get it, what you're looking for, or what it takes. So first, right out the gate, feathers. All right, so feathers were needed. We didn't need them for a long time. But eventually I did need them to make the basic Gambazon, which I'm wearing, my whole town is wearing now, because it's a simple piece to make, and it provides 32 armor, which is, isn't a lot, but for your, like, early mid-game, which is where I would say we are, um, it's actually a good amount. It's actually a good amount of decent armor. And so, so feathers, right, going back to it. You need to either unlock tier two, the hunter's camp, which is somewhere in here, but it's the tier two. That allows you to tell your hunter to go hunt crows. And your hunter then will collect feathers and meat from the crows. The other way, the harder way to do it, but you can get them faster, especially, especially if you're pretty good with a bow, you have to go out and actually find the birds. And so when you see like these circles circling above here, that's not them. That's just some decor put into the game. So let's go see how long it takes for us to find one. We got our lumberjack camp up. We got a hunt camp up now. And with the lumberjack camp, now you can get hardwood logs. It takes a nicer axe, and so that's one of the things I'm working on making right, getting right now, is getting to where I have AI villagers whoop, that can um, use a better axe. Okay, so here we go. So here's one of the crows right in front of me. And so you'll see, you have to like chase them for a while. Get your bow out and take, take 60 arrows with you the first couple of times you do this. Because it's a steep learning curve. They never land. They constantly randomly change directions. And so it's a... It's a hassle and a half, if I'm honest. To get the feathers. But to make this Gambazon for my entire village, I needed 50 feathers. So again, the ones up top, this group up here, that's not them. The one by itself right there... That's one. There's two of them over here now. And the only way to get them is with a bow. And lead by a lot. I only brought seven arrows. And I have no stamina. Yeah, so these guys, this is what you're looking for. There we go, got one. And you'll see they bounce. So if you hit them in the forest, like I lost two yesterday that I hit with an arrow, they disappeared. They, I lost them somewhere in the trees. So there we go, six arrows. So we, we would need nine of them to outfit our village of, I think I have seven or eight now. All right, so there's the crows. So another source of feathers that is a plus or a minus the way you look at it are chickens. They're very rare. They're usually around towns and they usually belong to the towns. And when you kill one, you lose trust in the town. But if you give the elder one of those coins, that coin is worth 50 trust. So technically you could kill five chickens per coin that you have to get you back to where you need to be but that was only four feathers too so in my opinion it's not worth it all right the next thing that we're going to talk about that i didn't know uh and had to look it up so i'm trying to make a video a quick easy video for you guys here is wheat there's nowhere to find wheat randomly in the wild okay so what you have to do is on the map if you head Farther south, you can see the town of Padstow's here. I'm farther south than Padstow. 
there is on the map it shows wheat fields that's the only place that you could get it and you've got to be sneaky about it because you're essentially stealing it and it's full of brigands that will straight up fight you right out the gate however you only need i would say seven or eight i would say ten to really get started because the wheat proliferates in farming so crazily like just to give you an idea uh, I think I started with 16 that I stole and now I have over f this after this last harvest I have over 407 wheat in my barn not including grains that is the seed that you use to plant more you get two grain plus a bunch of wheat for every seed you plant so you you get your numbers up very quickly so you really should only need to do this one maybe twice depending on how fast you want to grow and another tip is i have a second farm set up specifically for my wheat yeah real quick as it says we have a raid incoming i'm just gonna put everybody So, and I mean you can see the red dots and as soon as they start attacking you you can't collect any more wheat so but you'll see there's a ton of it so you can literally just walk up and my inventory is already full so now I gotta run away but that's it go there collect seven or eight but I mean the the guards here are extremely well equipped you're not raiding this place and killing people and getting it and taking it over it's not happening but go steal 10 if you can steal 10 and get away with it you're golden you don't need you won't need anything else Oop. if I didn't have feather, if I didn't have all the straps in my inventory that I have because I was out here farming bandits the other earlier I would just let them kill me so I can get back So that's wheat for you. Ten of them, start there, and at some point you can build a second farm that is just for wheat. And go into the management and just have them plant wheat in that one and don't plant wheat in the other. Because if you have them plant wheat in both, you'll end up with two farms of wheat. You'll have so much of it. It's crazy.
And the third thing that I want to talk about here as a tip for you guys is pick your location based on where you'll grow an actual village that has 100 to potentially 200 people. Simply being, like I with the tier 1 stuff, I picked this valley that I'm in. And it's worked great because even on the slope I was able to kind of cattywampus things around to get them to fit. But then as soon as I got to tier two, now I've got, like, this is just the hunter's camp here, right? And just down there is the lumberjack camp. And I have a mining hut, and I have, like, there's, a, the buildings get bigger and bigger, and there's more of them, so you have to make more room. Also, bonus tip, uh, when you open up the buildings tab, top right, disassemble, that's how you take down your old structures. Didn't quite know where to find it. I also probably didn't look hard enough, but I'm just putting it there. If you're like me and we're wondering how you could take down your tier one stuff after you've replaced it, go into press B, that'll pull up your buildings. Click disassemble, find it, press F. Walk up to the building you want to disassemble, press F. Takes it down and you get a chunk of the resources back. Those are the tips that I've had for you guys today for Bell Wright. Those are the things I wish I knew when I was first starting out or could easily find the information for. Um, if there's anything else that you know that's helpful to others, drop it in the comments below. Appreciate your guys' time. This is Ragnar with Ragnar's Roughnecks. Thanks for coming to the channel. Have a great day.